I think the number one uh, request or concern that patients have when they come for rhinoplasty is having a natural looking outcome. And I can't tell you how many times patients have mentioned the name, forgive me for mentioning his name, Michael Jackson, may rest in peace, uh, have mentioned that name as a concern of theirs. It's, it's said somewhat tongue in cheek, but it's a real concern. Patients do not want a result that looks like they've had their nose operated on. And there's a number of factors that go into ensuring that outcome. And again, it, this is, it all comes down to precision and understanding of the anatomy, but also an understanding of the aesthetics of the nose. The nose is not a straight tube with two holes at the end. The nose has shape. There's a structural shape to it, and if you, if a surgeon understands the anatomy, they'll understand that structural shape. There is something called a super tip break, which is a definition between the tip of the nose and the, and the bridge of the nose. It's not just one continuous line. There's an angle, which is that break that that brings the tip forward from the nose. Those are the things that make a nose appear natural and not operated on. And it's very very important that. The patient knows, you as the patient, know that I understand that. So a patient should have some sense of what the outcome will be. I don't think, if I were a patient, I, I don't think I'd be satisfied with just saying I want my nose smaller and, and that's that. One of the best ways, I believe, of a patient understanding the surgeon's uh, goal or the surgeon's vision of what, what the outcome should be. And don't get me wrong, the surgeon works hard to get that outcome. It's not, it's not a catalog where you can choose your nose. But I think one of the best ways for a patient to understand that is to see the surgeon's work, is to see photographs of the surgeon's work. But that's important because then they'll have a sense of, you know, does he have an understanding of ethnicity uh, or she have an understanding of ethnicity? Does he or she understand that there's a natural shape? Do they get that super tip break? Are the dorsal aesthetic lines continuous? Does it look like a natural nose? And if you see photographs, either usually the best thing is to see it in the, in the surgeon's office because then you'll, most people are a little shy about putting their pictures up on the internet, of course. But many patients, for instance, a lot of my patients, agree to have their pictures shown in the office to prospective patients. And if you see those pictures in front of you, you'll get a, a, a sense of what the aesthetic sense of the surgeon is. Do they understand that the nose has shape and structure? And I think that's very important because that's the key to a natural looking outcome. There's a, a bunch of technical terms that we use um, and a whole slew of angles that are used in, in textbooks. Um, about noses. There's where the nose starts, which is called the radix, this point right here where the nose takes off from the rest of the head. This is the, the dorsum, which is the bridge, everybody knows it as the bridge. Um, between the dorsum and the tip, as I mentioned, there should be a break. It should change angles so that there's some tip definition. I mentioned the, aesthetic, the dorsal aesthetic lines before. There should be a continuous shadow line from top of the nose to the tip of the nose. Uh, and that shouldn't be broken in any way. That's one of the major goals of having an aesthetic looking nose. The angles are great for exams, for well, college fellowship exams, but really when it comes down to it, the key is for the surgeon to have an aesthetic sense, to really know what, what looks good. And once again, one of the ways you as a patient can determine that is by looking at the surgeon's results, looking at other patients.